Welcome to myprojectbazaar.com Let's discuss about the product. Our product is FPGA based partial reconfigurable FAR filter design. This paper proposes a partial reconfigurable FAR filter design using a systolic distributed arithmetic that is DEA architecture optimized for FPGAs. To implement computationally efficient, low power, high speed, finite impulse response filter, that is FAR filter, a two dimensional fully pipelined structure is used. To reduce the partial reconfigurable time, a new architecture for the lookup table, that is LUT, in distributed arithmetic is proposed. The FAR filter is dynamically reconfigured to realize low pass and high pass filter characteristics by changing the filter coefficients in the partial reconfiguration model. The design is implemented using XUP vertex. That means the design can be ex executed in XUP vertex. Finite impulse response filters, most of fundamental components in digital signal processing, are generally implemented on dedicated hardware rather than software for high speed computation. Because of the requirement of low power high speed implementation of the FR filter design, in various embedded applications, it is necessary to design reconfigurably filtered architectures based on power or resources consideration or simply to implement new functionality on the run. FCGA is one such platform which allows adopting hardware resources to meet time varying requirements in power, resources or performance and at the same time maintaining a good speed of operation. In the literature, servers Several efficient hardware architectures were developed using non-reconfigurable or reconfigurable architectures. One of the challenges in partial reconfigurable architectures is the reconfigurable overhead, which is the time spent for reconfiguration on the fly. Because of the computational complexity and the reconfiguration time of the FAR filter increases with the increase in the filter order and the type of arithmetic used. As multipliers consume more power in multiply and accumulator, that is MAC, operation several multipliers desk schemes have been proposed in the literature. Distributed arithmetic methods is one of the multiplier less technique which uses memories. A reconfigurable FR filters has been proposed earlier using Xilinx configuration tool. That means they have used the FPGA, vertex FPGA tool for the as a hardware product. In this paper, a systolic based DA architectures with a dynamic reconfigurable module to reconfigure the filter coefficients is proposed. Let's see the flow diagram of our design. So this flow diagram states what is the process included in our process. Initially, input bit samples are taken. That is inputs are given as a bits that may be zeros or ones. And then the delay circuit is obtained the input. And the delay circuit is connected with a partial protect generator plug. And then the error bit samples are delayed unit and the delayed unit processed to the same partial protect generator plug. And the output from the generator plug goes to shifter tree plug. So there the tree adds and delayed and the add unit. Final outputs are obtained as a bits. Let's discuss about the product. This is the demonstration of our product. So, as we already discussed, our product development is based on Xilinx. That means our product language is VHDL. That means very hybrid description language. So, for this VHDL programming language, we are using Xilinx ISC version. So, this is the Xilinx ISC simulator used for our product. So, this is the current directory. These are the files included in our process. So, all these files, the submodules files included in our process. So, these all files are representing decoder and main RTL simulations. So, up to the process which we are developed is, will be placed here. So, half adder, XOR gates. So, usually in VHDL, everything, every programming is based on the 
XOR logic gates functions. So here we, by using logic gate functions we have designed shifting and tree process and the main RTL and similar process. So this is the main module. So you can see this, uh, this shows us this is the main module. So this is the synthesis report plug. Here you can see the modules what are the files here. Console. This is shows the process running process during the running. What are the things happening here? So for example, if you are running this running completed successfully like that, it will show. This will show the errors during the program, and this will show the warnings. So see, I have selected the main module. So for to run the process, we have to select the my main module, and I am implementing the design. So that means initially I have selected this implementation. So we are selecting the implementation only, I can process the implement design. So and then we have to go for synthesis. So our result source console here we have completed successfully. Process translate completed successfully. So for every step by step process the console will show what are the things happening during the backend and during the simulation. So this shows the continuing running process is continuing and so these all are the sub modules. The main module will recall every process. The sub modules are called and recalled from main module. So here this block is the main module of our process. So during the running time the CPU result and performance also will be displayed in console. So you can see the CPU computation time. So the mapping process, everything will be visible in console. So step by step process are processing here. So all over the process. Because we have included a lot of sub module functions, so it will take some time to process. So here I am going to check RTL simulation. So I am seeing RTL. This is the main block of our product. So while double clicking you can see the inner blacks included in our product. So you can see what are the files overall blocks included in our process. So each individual block also consists of interconnections. So the inter interconnections all the interconnections also will be visible. So you can see each interconnection by double clicking it. So similarly we have designed our product. So this is the RTLS method and for the simulation of the product you have to select the simulation and by selecting this main module click simulate behavior model this will open our i simulator so during that simulator we can give input parameters and by checking the time timeline we can verify the process so this is the timeline so we have to apply the input for the corresponding input we can obtain the corresponding output Thank you.